Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Small Land on the Radio Man 03. It's awesome to have you along. It's winter time still. I uh, replaced our damsel. I forgot that when I logged out that he was going to spawn in here. So um, I've got it just sitting here. I'm hoping I can go maybe someplace else and whistle and it'll get out of there. Either that or I'll have to remove a wall to get him out. But in the meantime, we're going to leave him right up there. Um, hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Here we go. So, last episode, we went and saw the... Uh, I'm back up here, by the way. Um, we went and saw the King Stag Beetle. Uh, we, I'm going to get rid of that right there. And this area needs much more explore, exploration. Some of you guys left uh, some tips on how to get to the Historian. I'm going to go over there with a bunch of potions and a bunch of bandages, and I'm going to just kind of fight my way and get to it. Uh, there were some tips on how to get there without having to hassle with too much of anything, but I would like to explore the catacomb because that's what it is. It's a catacomb down there. There's bodies everywhere. I want to go explore that. We've got the better sword, which, by the way, works really great. Um, it's a pretty nice sword. Very nice sword. And the new axe? Oh, baby. Talk about cutting through mushrooms like a hot knife through butter. It's one hit for mushrooms, which is awesome. Uh, but no upgrade to the pick as of yet. But that's a pretty sweet sword. Look at the axe. Not very good for the fighting. I've tried a couple on a couple of creatures. It's not so good on that, but it is excellent for cutting stuff down because it just uh, it reduces everything by one swing, which is awesome. And then the sword. Let's see if we get a good look at the sword. The sword two-handed, but um, and it takes a little stamina to swing it, but it really puts some serious damage on things when you use it and you uh, kind of time your swings to it. I like the fact it's got the blue hilt at the bottom here too. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the pyrite mixed in with the iron, which is beautiful. Fool's gold, right? Friday told me that. Pyrite, fool's gold. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go explore the catacomb. I did go out and do some grind work. I have uh, restocked a lot of our stuff. I'm going to grab you. <sighs> See, I've got to carry these guys with me. I wish I didn't have to. This armor is just not quite warm enough. See, I was going to kind of wait for winter to be over before I went. And I thought I was close, but then we had a snowstorm and there's snow outside. You can see it outside the windows. Uh, we do need some more clay bandages, so I do think that that's something I need to take a look at. How did we make those again? Um, I don't think it's in here. It's probably fiber, and I'm trying to remember where exactly I make them, because we've only done it the one time. There it is. Let's grab 30 of those, and then let's grab, uh, we needed some fiber. Fiber! The world works with fiber. I've got these two filled with fiber now. I was talking about that. I went out and did some grind. So these are both filled with fiber, and then I've got the uh, overflow over here. And then uh, this one's still, well, this one's actually overflow on stone. I tell you what, man, if you're looking for a place to go get the stone, you've got to go visit um, the tree over here by Caleb. That mine that's down there that you go to when you first meet Caleb, I came out of there with like six, seven stacks of stone. It's really awesome. It's very awesome down there. I also restocked a bit of our metal too. I spent a couple of days going down there. I love that tree. I love that tree over by the uh, concrete, uh, concrete jungle down there. It is just sweet. It really is a great spot. Um, all right, so we were making some things. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, the bark box is almost full. This is uh, resin, uh, which I still have to put some place. And then I've filled this now with the, um, yeah, the uh, bug's lymph. This is full. So I've got some overflow of that going on right now. Uh, I've not restocked any of our spider stuff, uh, silk or anything like that. We've got, of course, some more reptile hides and bones and things of that nature. Uh, what else did I work on that I really wanted you guys to see? I think we did some... We did a little bit, yeah, we got a little bit more of this, which I'm going to grab some of that too while I'm thinking about it. Oh, and I did go out on a couple nights and do some fireflies. The most I've been able to get at the moment is about four firefly juice in one night. There's two directly below us, and then just uh, another ledge down, there's two more. But roaming around at night, I haven't been able to find too many of these at all. But we've got a little bit to play with, a little bit. Um, okay, so I've got some of that. I'm going to need some wood. I'm going to need some fine wood, too. We're going to use the better arrows. I'm going to take them with me today. Let's take you, and I'm going to need you. And uh, we're going to need a couple stacks of wood. So, uh, yeah, we're going to use the uh, iron arrows. 
I feel like we're going into a, a very serious uh, fight area. We should we should probably have the best we can have with us. Um, all right, first thing we were making was some bandages. Uh, let's take care of that first before I start getting all wandering off and doing something completely different. There's ten. I want take ten. I'm gonna take twenty bandages with us, and we're just gonna use them like after every almost every fight. I think we're just gonna have plenty of bandages on us. And then I'm going to get a full stack of health potions, too. You guys know me. It's all about uh, having good health. All right, there we go. We got that. Um, I'm going to put some of these away now. Yeah, I really hope they get that worked out. I, I'm trying to figure out why it hasn't been done yet. Uh, the, the creatures spawning inside your room uh, with you. Just seems kind of weird to me that that's happening. Uh, and then, yeah, I can throw you over here too, and boom, perfect. So we got some backups going on right now. Again, I used our last treat for the, um, uh, damsel. I'm not excited about having the damsel, but I think in the end it'll probably be pretty good when we, um, head out to, I don't know, when we need to leave the area maybe? I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. We'll take him and we'll, we're gonna give him a try. Let's go ahead and make up a bunch of charcoal too. A little bit of the preparation the second part of the episode today we're going to be uh, going through that catacomb i'll just kill everything in front of me we'll just keep killing them you know <laughs> so so friendly uh, and then i need some iron i've got some arrows made i got eight huh all right so do i need anything else for those better arrows Oh, I'm going to make him the forge, duh. That's why we got the forge. The better arrows. And some tools, right? Uh, long arrow. 10, 20. No, what, what am I missing? I'm missing, oh, the refined wood. Of course, of course, of course, of course. The refined wood. I'm going to have to test this to see if I can actually whistle that out of here. Um, I've tried to whistle from the property to the creatures, and they don't seem to be able to get out of the building unless... So... Well, maybe we could do that someplace close by instead of having to go too far away. We'll try outside here. We'll see if we can get that critter to come out of there. Um, no. Yes. There we go. We got a couple of you left. And, uh, fine wood. Fine wood. And a few buzzy bee skins. Yeah, that tree is my favorite. If you don't know which one it is, it's this one right down here. Um, is it this guy? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. It's this guy right up here. Sorry. This tree right here. It's got everything except for the clay and now the pyrite. The clay and pyrite. But, man, it's just nice to be able to go down here and pick up the metal from time to time. Uh, and now I'm going all the way back over to here and getting a lot more metal each time I go down there. Um... Yeah, it's just a great spot. And then just about all the different plants are up here, too. Also, I did, um, since I'm right here, kind of back at the beginning when we first started, we stayed in this tree here, but I'm in this one right now. And there is a really jumbo strawberry patch uh, down here where I got a stack and a half of strawberries. Really sweet area right there. And then, of course, this is your, your bee area. This is all bees through here, so there's plenty of, uh, of bee stuff. So this is not a bad place either right here that I'm at right now. It's been a, it's been a fun um, fun tree to go roaming around the base of and just explore. It's been pretty cool. Uh, okay, so we were talking about potions too, right? Let's go upstairs to the apothecary room and we will see about uh, getting something like that. What do we have here? Oh, I don't have any more health potions, huh? I'm going to take some poison resist as well with me. Um, oh, are these, these are flint arrows. I need to put those away. Okay, there's a few things I've got to do. I've got to make some more potions. I've only got five. I thought I had more in here. I'll take the stamina ones. I'm a sucker for not taking those, but I'm going to have them on me, all the different potions on me, just in case. I would like to leave this behind, but I think it's going to get too cold. Got to be honest, though, if I put shelter over the top of my head for just a couple seconds... It usually pops it back up to 50 right away, and then you're off. You're good to go. I'll just take them. I'll take them. Um, 
Okay, yeah, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I've got some potions to make. I've tried from the backyard area, and um, it's they just run into the wall inside. They can't get out. I'm hoping that maybe with a little more distance, it'll cause it to come out. Hoping, 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 hoping. Ah, perfect. Takes a second for it to respond, huh? I was trying to think of what I would do for a kind of a living space for her. And uh, I would build something and probably put like our bed in it. Um, and then just have it be like a hangar so that we could just hop on and, and fly straight out of it. Uh, I think that would be kind of cool. The only the down take to that, of course, is that we have to have our, you know, our bed out with it too. Because, of course, it spawns wherever you spawn uh, on your bed. It's pretty awesome. I mean, I love... It's it's very smooth moving. Very, very much so. Shift key gets you going pretty fast, you know. It's not too shabby. It's just the, the stamina drain is kind of crazy. And you really have to... Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just a matter of getting used to. But, like, I'm using a little bit of stamina constantly here. And then you've got to make sure you have a place to rest. And if something's chasing you... We saw... Uh, what was it? One or two hits and it was gone. It died immediately. It does hover and, and glide a bit. Not as well as I do, though, I don't think. So I thought once we get to the Historian, if we get to the Historian today, once I'm there, uh, maybe I could call her in and we could fly out. That's what we tried to do last time. And the Hornets got us because, like I said, there's just not a lot of stamina. How far up can we go before... It says, nope, that's it for me. Maybe they increased it because it seems to be doing pretty good in terms of how high up it's going. Not too shabby. It's just a matter of getting used to it, right? I just wish it had a little more stamina. Uh, and stronger, too. Well, it, it doesn't seem to be able to handle much damage. And, of course, it's, you know, susceptible to uh, pierce damage. So, you know, what do you do? That's what we're going to be involved in over there. This is our piercing resistance armor. This has got some edge resist. So we're, we're good with that. What we're not good is with the beetles that are going to be down in there. The beetles are going to be a problem. All right, so you can stay right there. We got her out of the house, which is great. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing that just to kind of a little because she is really cool to have. I gotta say, I would like to um, experiment more with with her and see how she does. Oh god, we ran upstairs and I did not grab. I just, you know, I feel like having this on me and using it every now and again is helping me hopefully learn how to use it. The grappling hook. Uh, oh, we need this too. Jeez, don't forget that. Oh, I'm glad we came up here one more time. Yeah, the grappling hook. It's just kind of fun to experiment with that a little bit. All right, so what time of day is it now? It's probably been a day. Yeah, it's almost nighttime. I'm going to wind up sleeping the night away, and hopefully maybe this is the end of the winter. You see kind of drags into spring a little bit, doesn't it? So I don't know. I don't know how many days it's been snowy. I feel like I've been through about five game days in the snow because I spent most of that time just scouring around the trees. And then going down and grabbing the metal like I've shown you guys in the stone. So I feel like winter should be over and it should be jumping into spring. Which means I could leave that fade chowder behind. I don't know. I'll be back. I'll be back. I was just thinking, once I get there... I can't remember if I got the shelter icon when I was inside the catacomb. If we've got the shelter icon inside the catacomb, then we don't need the fade chowder. I guess I'll take it with me, better safe than sorry, but it's not something I, I may not need it. Because, yeah, the whole place should be considered sheltered. And just something that popped into my head. I'm still waiting for the sun to go down so we can head off on our, uh, you know, grand adventure today. To go find the uh, historian. Talk to him. It occurred to me that I'm not at the right tree yet. I could probably use with, uh... <laughs> I could use with moving to another tree here. 
the tree we need to be at so we can launch ourselves across there. But we know going south, this thing works amazingly well. Pachoo! I mean, that's incredible, right? We are here. <laughs> I think that's amazingly cool. So awesome. There's a pond here, too, I want to go check out with you guys. Don't tell me anything about it. Some of you may have. There, be careful, too, in the comments. There are lots of spoilers there. <laughs> so, be careful. I don't read all of it because I don't want to. I usually, if I start to see it's going to be have a lot of information about the game, then I try to not watch too much or read too much of it. But it is there for anybody who wants it, for sure. Um, yeah. Beautiful! Okay, so we are in position. Oh, that is amazingly awesome, right? We were there and we're here. That is so cool. Uh, we need to whistle our uh, critter into the backyard here. Look at that. Something we could do before the uh, sun went down today. Perfect. And whistle. Oh, there you are. C, C, and F. There you go. You stay put. All right. I'll be back. Shwing. Awesome. I wonder if I can land on the roof of this thing. Oh, that'd be awesome, huh? Land on the roof? I don't know if the uh, damsel would allow you to actually get up that high. Try to head for these tree limbs at least. Get up on the roof. Awesome. I'm going to land on the roof. Or on this piece of trim anyways. Ho oh, ho, yeah! That's pretty awesome. Oh, look at this, man. They thought of everything up here. This is really cool. This is so cool. Yeah, old catacomb. There's our bees. Got to be honest with you guys, I don't remember too much. Um, if we go over, can I get through this side over here? I wonder if I could possibly get myself up there. Let's see. I bet I could swoop down to there. Maybe I could glide to there. I'm just, I'm going to lose my uh, elevation, I think, pretty quickly back in here. jump down to here. Okay, those are the stairs back there, huh? Yeah, see, there was, yeah, this is like hornet heaven here. I think if I shoot for that corner right there, I'll be good. I may have to battle this one hornet, but that's okay with me. I'm okay with just the one. That's fine. If it even sees me. Didn't see me. Nice. All right, so let's try to do our little trick here. Let's get our comfort all the way up. There it goes. And let's take that off. Get number one out. Oh, oh, hello there. Uh, yes, indeed. I did not expect to see you right there. Okay, so we're going to have to go take care of this guy first. This is our first fight. Pretty good, pretty good. Gave it a couple of big chops. Uh, this lizard's going to cause us some problems. Our food is full, though. I'm going to take my time on this, just so you guys know. I, I really want to explore this area, because it looks, just seems so cool to me. Uh, okay, he's going to probably spot me here in a second.
bandage. Arrows. There's a 60 on them. 26. This sword's got a nice slash. Boom, boom. And then for the big one, you got the big chop. Like so. Okay, we don't have comfort yet. I guess this is all open until we get down to here, huh? Yeah, she's getting cold. Alright, let's go ahead and do a fade chowder. We've got it. Let's use it. I don't. Maybe we'll get uh, sheltered when we get down into here for a little further. Shelter. Okay, there we go. We should not get cold anymore now. Woo! Okay. Let's get this out of there this on. I can't hold my sword unless... Oh, that's a problem here, man. I, I This is a two-handed weapon. This great sword. Um, what am I going to do about light for you guys? That's edge damage, too. This is 8 to 13. This is 28 to 39. Sorry. We've got a big beetle down here. That's our next target. Resistance of Pierce. So we're going to have to go with our number 6 here, our hammer. And I'm going to go ahead and take a stamina potion too. We're going to go fight him. I didn't hit him with that? Stag beetles are tough, man. They really pack a punch. Having all this snow here doesn't help either. So I see the candles over there going up that direction. Last time we went to the right side of the cave. This time we're going to go to the left, I think. Okay, we got a cockroach down here on our right. It's so dang dark, man. I see flies. And I heard something large. Something's growling over here. I'm going to try to draw these flies in if I can hit them. I don't know if you guys can even see them. I hit one there. That should bring them in. No. What else is over here? A lizard. Okay, a lizard. Okay, here's a fly. I hear him. I don't see him though. There's the cockroach. Okay, it got a little bit lighter in here now. 
now that I've dropped out of that initial area and we're down in here in this mess. Okay, there's also a cockroach over here too. Oh, here they come. Well, that lizard really makes a lot of noise. Oh, I missed. That was only two. There should be more. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, we've got some spiders down here. Spider silk. I don't see a spider. Come on, you guys. This is so well done. This is so well done. I set my coffee there. Thanks for being here. If you're enjoying it, hit the like button for me. It'd be great. Oh, hello, Mr. Kakarocha. La Cucaracha. Oh. Big game number two. Swing, swing, and a swing. Bandage, 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 bandage. There you are. There's that third bee we were, or fly we were waiting on. Uh, I need to drink a potion too. Let's get that health up. And let's go ahead and eat one of those guys right there. Beautiful. And what am I going to drop? Uh, I'm going to drop that fat. I can eat the eggs. I'm going to drop the wings. I can actually eat those for food. So I'll keep those. And I'll keep this stuff here too for now. Why not? actually take this roach meat and I can eat that gives me a little bit of boost I could also build a campfire and cook it that way speaking of building maybe I should do this right now since we've got kind of a, a second here oh no not that sorry interactive there we go and let's go ahead and get everything repaired before it gets too late Ooh. oh I'm glad I thought of that I gotta tell you, this one thing I forget to do. It is one thing I forget to do on a regular basis. Oh man, I just got my stuff all messed around again. I got ways I like my stuff. All right, more flies, people. More flies. Here we go. We're back in the action. So you got to go through a gamut of flies in the game here first. Take it, sucker! Ha ha ha! You did. Come hither. Remember these guys used to freak me out, man. Oh. That left swing works pretty good with these guys. Health is going up, hopefully. This is beautiful in here. Incredible space. Just an incredible place. Oh, are you coming? You coming, Buster Brown? Good. Got me a, a nice great sword just waiting for you. That health is going up slow. Okay. More flies. Flies are a real problem around here. You can really hear those fly sound effects right off the bat. Oh, here we go. Coming in. Oh, I missed. Come on. Oh, I think the cockroach killed it. Somebody down below killed it. We got one more fly up here. Uh oh. No? Come on. They're acting really weird. They're going down below me here. You see me now? Oh, do you see me now? Oh, gotcha! Yeah, you little pest. Pesky little bug. Oh. Okay, we're good. 
Oh, man, there's pyrite dripping out of these walls down here, man. Each one of these little spots has got some more of that pyrite hanging out in it. Woo! Oh, this is really cool up in here. Check this out. I love these candles. Oh, it's just beautiful. It's so well done. It runs real smooth. If you're not afraid of bugs, it's great. The 200,000 copies sold? Is what they say? They put a post out? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Weren't we around here? Where the heck is he? Let's go to the map. Historian, where are you? You back over this way? Do I need to go around? Let's, let's just... I'll keep looking. I'll keep looking. Is that him down there? Or was that where I was before? I feel like that's the workbench and stuff that I was at already. It says he's right there, so that maybe that is him. Well, I'm I'm about to jump down to go see. I'm about to jump down. I'm going to backtrack a little bit and look and see if I missed anything in here I need to uh, take a look at. Um, is there anything I missed here? There's a light down there. A light over there next to those jars. A couple of dead bugs down there. I'm going to fly down because there's the, there's that table and stuff there. Maybe I was really close to him. I didn't even realize it. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know what happened. Yeah, this is where I was. Well, back to uh, killing everything in sight. I'm more worried about that gray fly than I am this guy here. Oh, he's really messing me up. Oh, I can't do anything while I'm drinking. There we go. Okay. Whew. Whew. I don't think I actually drank that potion. Let's take care of ourselves here for a second. All right, we got eight of those left. I need to get this stamina potion going too. All right, let's drop that. Um, I hate to drop some of these things, but I'm just gonna gobble, gobble these guys up if I can. Oh man, I'm really worried about walking around down here in the dark. Oh, what's this up here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I found something. Oh, crap. I can't see crap. It's right there. It's right there. Um. Okay, I have at least the axe in my hand. This is where I need my damsel. There's water here. This is where I need the damsel. Oh, yeah! Woohoo! Did it! You stay. Hey! Man, you're tough to find down here, man. This catacomb's nasty. Oh, let's take a look at this place before we go talk to him. This is just beautiful. Look at this. Ooh. No, nothing? Oh, you can't access those. Nice. Look at the chest. Look at this chest of drawers here. These are cool. I like that. That is awesome looking. A 
key card. Oh, pick up. What is this? Bay chowder. A mushroom steak. Oh, thank you. Uh, don't mind if I do. I will eat that mushroom steak. There we go. And uh, they gave me a fey chowder back, too. Awesome. We got a bed down here, some sunglasses. Awesome. Look at that. Is somebody messing with my dragonfly? My damsel? It goes up and up and up. Okay, yeah, we've got to go look around. Let's let's keep looking around. I thought maybe something was attacking the damsel. We got a <laughs> solar phone, right? Or a satellite phone. Sorry, satellite phone. That's solar. All these noises down here, the creaking and stuff is cool. Can we use this campfire? No. Double A battery. There's a key. Huh. Awesome. Man, let's take some imagination, people. Let's take some imagination. I like how natural everything looks. There's a domino. That would be much bigger, of course. That should be much bigger, anyways. That should be like a table. Right? Domino compared to the size of us would be much bigger. Oh, cool. <laughs> that is awesome. All right. Um, go scroll back. Yeah, there we go. G.I. Joe. <laughs> that's awesome. That is so cool. Oh, that's neat. The lanterns, too, huh? The lanterns, the lights. Got a busted pair of scissors over here. A Zippo. Very cool. So cool. It's a lantern here. What if there's a way to get over and around down there, over on that side? I hear flies and all kinds of bugs. We'll leave the damsel here and just call, whistle for it when we get back home. It'll be nice and safe. There's like a bug on the other side of this wall or something. Oh, let's go up before we go back down. Huh. Here's the bazooka guy. Oh, man. Such a nasty place out there, too. That's cool. Pyrite everywhere. I should probably grab a bunch more of that, huh? A couple of fireflies. Oh, hey guys. Hey guys, come here. You see my light? Do you see my light? Did you, you, you didn't see it, huh? Let me try this out. I think they're supposed to come to this. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> it's horrible. Just horrible. Alright, let's go talk to our historian. Let's take a look at this guy. What does he look like? We have some scrolls and maps down here. We have a potion. We have some kind of... Uh... I don't know what they're going to turn this into, but I know what that is. Can't walk up that, which is just kind of strange. Todrick. Todrick, hello. What do we have here? Yes, who goes there? Greetings. You must be Todrick. I must be. And you are a vanguard, Cheshkan Dorian, at your service. I was sent by Ludwig the Elder to seek your aid in a grave matter. Ah, so Ludwig still remembers an old friend. How may I be of assistance to you, Vanguard? The Elder said you'd be able to translate this scroll. It's apparently written in the Old Tongue. Let me have a look. Hmm, this is indeed Old Tongue, but the dialect is an obscure one. 
I will need your help in translating this. Oh, really? My help? How can I help you translate a language I know nothing about? Well, you see, some time ago, a merchant set up shop on the south shore of the ruins. Oh, boy. This merchant deals in books, schematics, and other items of high value. At the time, he was carrying a book called On the Origin of Small Folk by famous researcher uh, Darles Carwin. Oh, very clever. <laughs> Charles Darwin. Naturally, the opportunity to possess such a masterpiece was too good to pass on, so I bartered the book for a number of my own dusty old tomes, including my notes on the old tongue. Oh, I see. Sip my coffee. And now you need those notes for the translation. Right. I'll get them back for you. Where exactly can I find the merchant? He can usually be found just past the giant metal bars, directly south of the great fountain here in the ruins. He travels the waterways, so you may encounter him elsewhere, too. Oh, really? He travels the waterways? Make sure to bring some of the shimmering rocks with you when you seek him out. He seemed quite taken with this pyrite material last we spoke. Ah, very well. I'll seek him out and barter for the turn of your notes. All right. May the sacred owl protect you. Thank you. Okay, so we've got to do that. Uh, here we go. This place is surrounded by formidable creatures. Unlock the Hornet Treat. Stone Oven. Okay, very cool. The colony spiders and cockroaches stick to specific areas and don't roam here. I've found that the hornets won't bother me so long as I feed them colony spider abdomens. They seem to find them quite the delicacy. If you prepare a treat for them with colony spider abdomens, I'm sure you could even earn their admiration. Colony spider abdomens. We, we saw some of those last episode when we first came in here. Uh, off to the right of the staircase. Um, in all of your research, have you come across anything that might aid me in my perilous adventure? Most of what I research is related to the history of small folk and giants. However, I have found some old texts relating to armor crafted from the shimmer rocks of this region. If you were to bring me the materials, I think I could put something together for you. Oh, really? I didn't think he's going to do pyrite. Oh, my. Look at this. Silk, reptile leather, iron ingot, cold protection five. I think this is six. That's six, and it doesn't do me any good. Pierce resistance uh, plus three, protection eight. I should probably just look at the helmet, huh? I, I guess I am protection eight. Uh, protection six, so it's got better protection, but less cold protection. But, you know, and its durability is 90? 150, 90, huh? Hmm. Kind of a light armor, I guess, huh? Protection 9. Uh, protection 8. Protection 8. But durability is really bad on these. I think the only reason I'd make it is just so I would have it. Uh, which we still have to holla. Is that right, to holla? We still have to do uh, work for her to get that uh, material down there for her. Okay, so we've got that. Um, did I miss one? I may have missed one here. Okay. Farewell. All right, let's check our map. Where did he send us? The merchant is down here. Well, okay. We got to get back up out of here first and make our way down to the merchant. Well, let's see if we can work our way out of here. All right, let's try that again. It's getting to be dark. Not that I'm worried about the dark anymore. It's actually pretty easy anymore to get around. Let's see. Yeah, it just didn't quite pop me good enough. So I decided to split this up into two videos. We're going to go to the merchant in our next episode, the Friday episode. So that was today's episode. Now I know right at the bottom of the stairs, you just go straight up that board. You could be in this place. That's okay. It was really awesome to explore the catacombs. And I'm sure there's probably some secrets in there that we didn't find. So we're going to have to go back and do that again. It was really... Can't get over just how well the game is done. It's just so well done. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Yeah, next episode we will go out and talk to the merchant. Uh, I'm ready to go actually with it right now. I've got uh, everything restocked and I've got, uh, you know, a 30 of the pyrite to take with us just to see 
uh, what he's all about. Extra food, our potions, all of our, just tons of stuff. So that's coming up in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed today's. If you did, do show your support by hitting that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. I want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time. Spring is here.